Soft Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. So this Friday, it's all about upcycling. I don't know about you guys, but I love to go thrift store shopping and I love to go hit my local Goodwill. So I picked up a really cute item and I am going to show you some really cute rub-on transfers on how to really give this item just a punch. So I so hope you stay tuned for our Upcycling Inspiration Friday project. But hey, if this is your first time stopping by my channel, thanks so much. I sure appreciate it. And if you're new, please subscribe. Click on that subscribe button down below and YouTube should alert you when I upload a new video if you also click on the bell. So give me a second. I'm going to get my camera angle changed. We are going to get making and do some upcycling today. Well, we're going to start this project with a tray that I picked up at Goodwill and it was marked $9.99, but I happened to get it on the blue tag sale. So I paid um, just about $5 for this tray. It is all metal and it's got this wood finish to it. So it's actually a piece of wood and with wood handles. So all I'm going to do is we're going to remove the wood. It does, if you look on the back, um, it's got some screws, so we're going to remove the wood. I am going to give it a nice white wash, and we are going to um, add some of these transfers that I picked up from a Malachi Daughters Etsy shop. And I just love using these transfers. There's all different types. So we're just going to go ahead and put that on. We're going to put a seal on it, and this project's going to be done. So to start with, what I want to do is I want to actually remove... Um, the wood because I, I could probably deal with the wood um, inside the tray but since these come out this is just going to make it that much easier for me to clean up the wood so I'm going to give it a light sand although I don't think it's going to need too much of a sand I am going to use some of my Dixie Bell paints and we are going to give it a rustic white um, whitewash type finish the transfers that I picked up, these rub-on transfers, they really work nice if you've got a white background. Okay, they're printed on an acetate, um, and so they're literally just rub-ons. And I'll tell you guys, when you buy the transfers um, from their site, they um, have so many different designs in it. In fact, I was just looking this morning at some more transfers, and I think I've got a large file cabinet here that used to be my dad's that I never want to get rid of. Um, but I thought it would, might be fun to put um, some of these transfers on it. So that'll definitely be an upcoming project that we'll work on, doing something a little bit larger. You know, if you guys saw my um, transfer that I did with um, the little pumpkin, I kind of started out small. I wanted to do something a little bit smaller. And then this time, I'm actually going to be doing it with a tray. So there we are. We got that removed. That's going to be a lot easier to work with. I'm definitely going to keep my screws handy. And a little trick I learned, and we're going to see if it's going to work, um, is if you apply heat to your stickers, your stickers will come off much easier. So I want to try to do it so I can get that residue off. I'm just going to give it a little bit of heat, okay, and then I have my little palette knife, and I'm just going to lift that right up, and look at that. They are right. That little trick does work. Great. So I got that one removed, and I noticed there was one on the back. Looks like the tray was originally made in India, so we're going to get rid of that. And I think I'll be taking this tray down to our local shop in town once I get it all made up. So I'll make sure I add a Fun Stuff um, Crafts logo to the back of it. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to see, first I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some wet ones and just see if I can clean up any of this. 
You can see someone had had like coffee on it and actually looks like those are cleaning up really nice, you guys. This wood is just so pretty. It's got so many beautiful colors in it. Half tempted not even to do anything to it because I love all the grays and everything in it. I don't really have to do much to the back. Just thought I'd give it a good wipe down. And I think I'm just going to lightly give it a little bit of Dixie, uh, my Dixie Belle paint. Um, just to give it a little bit more rustic look, but those colors are just absolutely beautiful. Okay, so now I have got the Dixie Belle and this is the cotton, okay, and it's mir uh, Miracle. It's um, chalk mineral paint. Before I get started, I do want to cover my work surface. If you guys have seen my new trick lately, I've been using puppy pads <laughs> to cover my paint area. And so it just protects my, my mat. I don't have to worry about it, okay. I am going to run my heat gun over this just a little bit, you guys. Um, it's kind of moist from um, from me doing those that wet one across it. I want to make sure that I'm good and dry. Yeah, this has just got some beautiful colors to it, you guys. And then when you're using the transfers, you can seal them. And what I use to seal them is just a water-based paint, okay? So I'm just grabbing out of my drawer just a chip brush, okay? And I'm just going to add a little bit. I'm not going to do a whole lot, though, you guys. I just really like the look of this wood, but I just want to add a little bit to it. It really helps with the um, transfer if you've got a white. I'm just really almost dry brushing it on you guys just to just to add something to it like I say you wouldn't have needed to do this but I just wanted to add a little bit to it a little bit too much paint there Lisa and then what I can do is I can take my sanding block off if um, afterwards if I think I've got too many areas. Make sure sometimes when I'm using these um, chip brushes, you get little hairs that come off. So make sure you're looking for those. Okay. I think I, know, I might do a little bit more in this corner down here. Not wanting to really overdo it. And like I say, it's really more that dry brush effect. Okay, got another one of those little. Okay, you guys, I think I'm just gonna go with that. Okay. Maybe. See, the more I look at it, the more I think maybe I should do a little bit more. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just kind of looks weathered. And that's kind of what I was looking for. Okay, so we're good with our paint. Didn't take much there at all. Now you definitely could have um, did this totally white. That would have been perfectly fine too. Um, but I just wanted that little bit of that weathered look. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that away. I'm gonna run my, sometimes I get impatient. I just wanna move on with you guys. So I'm gonna run my um, heat down across it. And you guys, this is an embossing gun um, that I'm using, and I just find that it's really handy. I do have a heat gun. I think you guys have seen me use that before that I picked up at Harbor Freight. But um, this one just, it's just handy. It's little. It's compact. Okay. So we're going to give it a few minutes to dry all the way, and then we are gonna move on with our transfer.
Okay, one little more little trick I want to show you is if we want to remove some of that chalk paint, maybe I feel like I got it a little bit much in places, I'm just taking a wet one, okay? And I'm just wiping down. And it really makes it look like it's always been there, okay? So just another idea of how you can distress the wood just a little bit more, okay? So then I gotta let that dry all the way, okay? While I'm letting that dry, I'm gonna put this off to the side just for a second, because I wanna show you guys these beautiful prints that came in this package. My light's a little glary, so I apologize. But look at how pretty these different ones are. Now, I definitely am not gonna be using all of these um, on um, my tray, and that's what I just love about when I purchase um, these packages from them, that so many different ones come. So I think I'm gonna go with this big one in the middle, and then I think I might have this guy coming off the edge um, and maybe one of these small ones coming off the edge. So we'll let the, the wood dry, and as soon as that's dry, we will start applying these. And then each package also comes with a little rubbing tool, okay? And this is the tool you use to do the transfer. The transfers are printed on an acetate, okay? And then it just has a protective batting, backing. So that backing we're gonna peel off We'll put the acetate in the transfer down, rub it on, and then pull the acetate back. So um, give me a few minutes for my wood to dry and we will get going on this. Okay, so we're all nice and dry. And I am gonna start with this little guy first, just to show you guys. And I apologize for my glare on my um, light up there. So like I said, you're gonna peel it back Okay, and you want to know where you're going to put it um, because this will stick. Okay, and I'm just going to lay it there and then I'm going to take my little transfer tool and I'm going to transfer it on. Okay, if you're doing bigger projects, they do have a really nice tool that they sell. But for these small projects, I have found this little board just seems to work just fine. Okay. I'm gonna just test it to see if it's down. If you need to keep working it a little bit, you can. Just wanna make sure it all comes off of the acetate. And look at that, you guys. Isn't that just absolutely beautiful? Okay, so let's go ahead and do this next one. And just, you guys, just think about this. I paid $5 for this tray put a quick coat of paint on it, and now I'm adding these flowers, and it's definitely worth more than $5 now, you guys. I am gonna put a protective coat over the top. You know how people, when they use trays, you never know what they might be putting on it. So I do like to use the um, Minwax um, Polyacrylic. You wanna make sure when reading on the website, I see that you definitely want to use a water-based. Um, you can definitely do a wax too if you want to do a wax. I just seem to always like this, um, the, the polycrylic, um, because it seems to work um, and help for outside too. So if you were going to have this out on your, you know, your picnic table or, or use it outside for anything, it really works nice. But this is just, oh my gosh, you guys. I had a girlfriend come over and had saw the little pumpkin that I did. And she was like, oh my gosh, Lisa, you're painting. You're doing so well on your painting. And I'm like, oh, I only wish I could paint this beautiful. But I'll tell you, these guys just really step it up. Look at that. Oh, I'm just loving how this is turning out, you guys. Now let's do this big one. And I kind of wanted to place it in the middle. And then I'm just going to leave the rest of the tray just like it is. We're going to put a like that top coat, like I said, over it. We're gonna put it back in the um, holder. And I'll tell you, this one, this little project's gonna be totally done. You know, I could have um, painted the, the wire rim, but I just really think it's in great shape. You know, there's no reason to mess with it. I think just by adding this little bit of detail to this tray, 
it's definitely something that we can turn around and sell and people will want it. I know I'm not the only one that loves sunflowers. It's definitely been my thing lately. <laughs> so I just go through and just make sure you have it on and then just catch an edge with your finger and start to bring that acetate up. And maybe, at least I can't get a hold of it. There we go. And I'll tell you the trick also, you guys, is make... Okay, guys, I apologize. My battery pack decided to um, go on me. But basically what I did is I did pull back the acetate. And what I was just getting ready to tell you guys is make sure your paint is dry. You want to make sure it's all totally dry um, before. I, I've done it before and I didn't have my paint dry and I had a mess. So make sure your underlying um, color is dry. And then um, just how beautiful did this turn out? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I've got some, let's see if I can tilt this up without spilling here, you guys. I've got the poly acrylic, I've got the clear matte, matte finish. It's um, the water-based, okay? And I'm gonna get one of my chip brushes out again, and I am just going to paint over my tray. And then once that's dry, we're gonna reassemble um, our tray and we are gonna be all set. So just think next time you guys are out and about um, at a thrift store, at a garage sale, or maybe you guys have got a tray in the house that just needs um, a, some new life brought to it. I would definitely recommend checking out um, Malachi, Malachi Daughter's um, um, Etsy shop um, like I said, I just ordered some more this morning um, to do some more projects. Um, I've got lots of sunflowers because that was the first batch I ordered from them. Um, and so this time I ordered some different um, decals, but all kinds of different things they have. So make sure you check it out. And I'm going to let this all dry. And you guys can see it's got a nice shine finish to it. I'm going to let this dry. And then as soon as this is dry, you guys, we are going to put it back together on the, um, the metal um, frame that it came with, and we're gonna be all set. Can't wait to show you guys. Okay, so I went ahead and put the tray back together, and it just looks so cute, you guys. I've actually got it on a pedestal here. Let me take it down so you can get a better look at it. And look how cute that turned out. Now my husband suggested that I do something with the handle. So this one I've already taken a little bit of chalk paint to. So I just want to show you what I was doing. Is I just got a, um, a sponge brush. And I'm just going to apply just a little bit of paint across the handle. Oh, so this handle's not turning like the other one did. Okay, so I'm just going to... Again, I'm just dry brushing it, you guys, just to get a little bit of that white paint in, okay? And then again, I am going to take a wet one, and I'm just going to wipe it down. And so some of that white is going in, and it kind of just matches my tray a little bit better. So there we have it, you guys. How cute did that tray turn out? I will give you a better close-up view of it um, so you can see the whole tray, but I just love how this one turned out. Okay, and here's a close-up view of that cute tray. I just love the colors in this sunflower. So if you like this project, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're looking for other DIY projects, make sure you check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com.